Scholar. Hi, back again with Scholar and Sage, uh -huh. and this time we're going to teach you a quick way on how to play the game. And we're going to set up pretty quick. Uh, first card goes face up. Uh, next card goes to your opponent, and then back to the dealer. And there's only two in this game, uh, two players that is. And then next card face up. Opponent me, face up. Opponent me, and then face up. And so we have inequity, epicure, didactic, and what is that? Barbarian. And we're going to place this deck here, and we'll put our discard pile over here. And you're up. Okay. okay. And by the way, there's my hand, if you can see that. Okay, and this is my hand. Okay. Okay. So Your go. I don't have any wealth to play down, and I do not have any characters, that, which is a matter of it, I don't have any wealth. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip the action phase, and put put down my resources ambidextrous, and then I am done. So I can pick up three cards. So I'm going to pick up didactic. And Courtney, why are why are you picking up didactic? Oh yeah, because it's two resource. So instead of having to use both your character uh, character commands, I can just use one. Okay. And it goes in my pile. Okay. And I replace. Then I'm going to pick up, uh, I'm going to go and pick up Epicure, because it's an easy defense. And then I'm going to pick up uh, Barbarian, because it's a pretty useful character. And I'm done. Okay, now it's my turn, and it's my action phase. And actually, I'm going to play Fanatic, so I'm going to spend one wealth. We'll put him up there, I don't think you can see him, but it's, it's up there. And so Fanatic goes down on the board. And then I have, my last card is Obscure, and I'm going to play Obscure to my resource area. We'll put our, my resource area right there. And so like this is going to be a tight, tight area. And now I get to pick up. And by the way, um, Inequity is a great card to have, so I encourage you to pick that one up. Uh, but you can't, you can't pick up too many action cards because you need wealth and you need resources. And so let me see. So I'm going to pick up Reticent. And there's some strategy here on that because reticent is a synonym of laconic. And so it's always good to get synonyms or similar words as much as possible. And so now I'm going to play that, that last wealth down. And I've picked up my three cards and now it's my opponent's turn. Okay. And so, here are my new cards, by the way. So I have Epicure, which costs no wealth. So I'm going to immediately play that down. And this is my action phase. I'm going to move Ambidextrous here. And the reason she can put Ambidextrous on Epicure is because she played Ambidextrous last turn on her resource turn. And it was sitting in the resource area for her to use this action phase. And then I currently am going to go ahead and I can't do any other actions because I have uh, no attacking. So I'm going to go ahead and put didactic in my resource area. Right there. That's my resource area? Okay. Yeah, we'll call that your resource, resource area. Resource area. Not to be mixed up with your character. We'll put the mm -hmm. characters there. And I'm going to discard the base because I want to pick up three cards and I can't use it anytime recently. So I'm going to pick up a wealth because I need money. I'm going to pick up uh, this one because I kept track of what he picked up so I can counter strike it later. That's the diffident. And then I'm also going to pick up another wealth here. Actually, folks, um, Courtney misread the cards, and it's not a contrast word. It's actually a similar word. And so it can't be used in a contrast strike. Something, I, sh I could have told her when she was doing her contrast strike, and then she would have lost her turn and her card, but that's okay. We're going to play nice. So uh, it's my turn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. ha, 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 ha. Okay, so I'm going to do something that is just dastardly. I'm going to play inequity. And now, inequity says character must discard at least one attached resource. And I'm going to play that there. Now, the, now there's a reason why I'm going to do that. Epicure is in supply. And I'm going to get rid of this resource, which is a two. It's ambidextrous. It's a great resource, but it's going to go away. Because she has to, and it's the only resource card she can 
um, discard. So I'm going to let her discard her one resource card. And so on an action, you play it against the character. That's the default. And that's why I played it against the character. And it's still my turn. And I only have one resource. And Fnatic takes two resources to come and supply. So there's nothing I can do this turn. However, I see she has a didactic. I don't have a, um, a contrast word in my hand. I have reticent and laconic. Uh, but I will still play obscure to Fnatic just as a placeholder to leave it there. And now it's my resource turn. I'll, I don't have any other actions. And I'll play these two resources to my resource area, which I'm calling right here. Normally it would be a little bit larger, but it doesn't fit on the film. And now I get to pick up. And so I want wealth. And the reason I'm, buy, I'm bringing in wealth, I'm picking wealth, is because I'm anticipating possibly picking up a character in which I'll need that wealth to... Uh, expend in order to bring the character onto the board. Uh, I'm going to take uh, capricious. Capricious is a great um, word, um, and it can be a re resource or a wealth. And uh, capricious is like whimsical, you know, fickle. And some some of the character, I mean, some of the words, um, the the characterizations of the words are. Um, they lend themselves to the meanings of the words, and that's what's so great about the game. And then we'll put this down, and I get to pick up one more, and I don't see anything. I'll pick up innocuous. Innocuous is a good word. And the reason I'm picking it up on this one, it actually has a special action to it, and we'll get into that if I play it, if we have time. And so I, tenacious, oh, that's a great action word. Your turn. Okay. And I'm done. So. Now, by the way, we, you could do a free move, or, and you can discard cards like Courtney did, but since I don't have a free move, you know, there's nothing I can do. You can't, you, I could, maybe if I had more resources here, I could move my resources away from my um, character. But you always have to keep in mind that you can know, you cannot remove your resources to the point from a character on a free move where it places that character intentionally out of supply. So it's just a small game feature and there's reasons for that and it comes, it becomes evident as you play the game. Your turn. Okay. So I have two wealth, so I'm going to discard them in the discard file and spend my wealth and I bring in a character, Barbarian, into play. And I have my resource pile, a two resource. So I'm going to go ahead and move that Which is here. didactic. Didactic. And now that activates Barbarian, he's able to play. Epicure can't do anything because he has no resource, but Barbarian can. And then... And it's I, still, it's still um, my opponent's... Uh, action phase. Action phase. Yep. So now, because Barbarian's in play, I'm going to attack... Uh, right. And what, my what my opponent, esteemed opponent, means is that Barbarian is in supply with the two resources. And it requires two resources to be in supply. So now it can attack, defend, and all the other good things. So go ahead and attack. Right. What is it? I'm going to attack you too. Okay, and normally if, if Fnatic had two resources, he could defend. It doesn't because it doesn't have two resources, so it's not in supply. So two resources come through, and you just need to note this off to the side of the table uh, on a piece of paper. And I suggest that you don't use your memory because that is not a good way to play the game. Write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, we've had requests for a game board, but we're not quite there yet. So it's still your action phase. It's now 10 to 8. My opponent has 10. I have 8 Elon points. Okay. And then I can't do anything with my Provinquity at the moment. So I'm going to go and play my extra resource down to my resource pile. Resource area. Resource area. And then I'm done with my phase. So I'm going to pick up three cards. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take Tenacious because if I don't, he will. I'm going to go ahead and take Anemic. Anemic is a good action card. Yes. And then I'm going to... Oh, profligate. <laughs> I'm going to take Profligate. Your turn. Okay, my turn. So I have three cards, and I want to be able to pick up three cards, and I have three cards, and, and say if I had two actions and I didn't want to use them, I could always uh, put... Um, I could play this to my treasury, and we'll call this over here my treasury. And but since I do have two resources, um, 
I'll hold these so that during my resource phase, I can play them to my resource area. Now it's my turn and I'm gonna play reticent to fanatic. Now I have two resources, fanatic is in supply and I'm gonna attack uh, my opponent with two, oh no, excuse me, one. And I'm gonna have use barbarian, which is, is in supply to defend with two. And nothing goes through. And so it's still eight to 10, I have eight and my opponent has 10. And at that point, I'm gonna, it's my resource phase and I'm gonna take, uh, since I want wealth on the table, I could play the act, wait to play the actions, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna play the two um, resource cards down to my resource area, and I'm gonna pick up. And I'm gonna pick up um, anarch, uh, an, um, Anarchist, and then I'm gonna pick up, uh, there's a bunch of resources. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. And uh, so this is what I picked up, and I'm gonna do it again, and and that's what I, I that's really kind of what I wanted, and now it's uh, my opponent's turn. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead because I only have action cards. First, I'm going to do is try to take out his character. And what it says is, opponent must expend one wealth at the start of their turn to maintain the character or discard the character, and it's lasting. So what that means is, uh, since action cards, the default is to play against characters, she played against my fanatic card, and next turn, during my turn, I have to ex expend one wealth in order to keep it on the table. Right now, it's my defensive phase, her... Um, action phase, I don't have to do anything. That only occurs uh, on my turn that I have to expend that one wealth. And it's a good way to get rid of a powerful character and it was good for her to play it. Okay, and I'm not gonna use any of my other action cards at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack two with Barbarian. And I'm gonna defend with one. And by the way, Fnatic has a special ability. It says Fnatic may damage block using resources from owner's resource area. So I'm gonna defend with one, and then I'm gonna expand one resource. And she's attacking with two, and now I'm defending with two. Okay, and then because I forgot to do so earlier, I'm gonna use my free move to move my last resource here to Epicure, so I have another line defense in preparation for another character coming into play, potentially. And now I have three cards, so I can only pick up two. So I'm gonna pick up, pick up Hack Knight, because that's a pretty good card. A lot of, and then, ooh. It's Apothecary. I'm going to go ahead and take a Chance card. Okay, and we'll play one more round and then we'll stop. And so it's my turn, and these are my cards. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll spend one Wealth, and I'll bring Anarchist into the game and then I'll immediately play one resource to Anarchist and now I'm going to, oh, you know what else? I forgot. I need to ex expend one wealth to maintain that character and I'll do that right now. I'll just put that one over there. So now I'm going to attack with one. And I am going to go ahead and destroy my Epicure and his one container. So what she did was she played Tenacious and Tenacious' uh, special action is Discard defending character for attacking character. Defense to attack ratio must be at least one to three. Play during character defense and it's instant, meaning it happens right during that action. So when it says one to three, that means your defense, one, has to be at least, um, I mean, the attacking player can't be more than three. So one to three. In this case, I'm only one, so this goes through. If, if, I had a, if I was attacking her, if she was attacking me, and we're gonna have to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> we should include this right now. <laughs> so let me try this again. Tenacious, it says, um, since I attacked her with one, um, she can use Tenacious, and she did it because she, she got rid of my card. Uh, my character, uh, it has to be uh, at least one to three, meaning that she has to, for every three of my attacking, she has to have at least one. So if I attacked with six and she defended with two, it would all go. It's in this case, I, if I was attacking with three and 
she was defending with one, it would go. But in this case, it's just one to one, and so um, they all go. Okay. And I got rid of Fnatic because in the long run, it's a dangerous card for the opponent to have. Dangerous to you. Yes, dangerous for me. Okay, so okay. now I'm going to attack with one. <laughs> it's, it's my turn. Oh, my apologies. Yeah. Really? Where's this? You got to watch that. You got to, you know what you should do is get that that uh, rules card and just put it out right in front so someone like old Sneaky Pete here can't, uh, okay, we won't talk more. <laughs> so I'm going to attack with a one against uh, her barbarian. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and defend with two because we're going to defend with two. And nothing goes through and it's yeah. still eight to ten, right? Yes. Okay. And we're going to stop right there and we'll, we'll try to play again at a later time. And thank you for listening.